What are your opinions on fantasy matchups? I suppose they can be an interesting thought experiment. Decision against the rush. <laughs> Diving into the realm of fantasy matchups is like tossing a handful of popcorn into the mental arena. If you've been a fight fan for a minute, you've probably found yourself lost in the ultimate daydream duel. Ever wondered how a scrappy brawler from way back when would hold up against a modern day boxing whiz? Then you talk about it with someone and completely disagree with what they have to say? Well then you found yourself becoming what we like to call a boxing fan. Because we all know a boxing fan is not only a fan, but they're a nutritionist, a coach, a matchmaker, manager, promoter, TV producer, and they might even be a physicist if they argued long enough. Boxing fans are always right, and everyone else is always wrong. So when you get a bunch of boxing fans where one side are talking about Naoya Inoue knocking out Gervonta Davis and the other side are talking about how Davis is too big for such a challenge, you get something native to the sport of boxing. A good old-fashioned debate. At least that's what the professionals call it. A tremendous performance from one Naoya Inoue in his fourth weight division has thrown wood onto the fire of talks of a fight between himself and Gervonta Davis. And I suppose in this video, I take on the role of the promoter, as I entertain this idea of a fight between Davis and Inoue. Not because I want to see you all duel it out in the comments section or anything, but simply because I'm a fan of boxing, just like you. But of course, I look forward to hearing your thoughts down below too. So we're talking about a fight between a Japanese monster and an American tank. Both are in their physical primes and will continue to be for quite some time. Davis started his pro career in 2013, in Oue in 2012. Both boxers have a knockout percentage ratio of over 85%, making them both knockout artists. Davis is a southpaw, in Oue is an orthodox. In Oue's most spectacular KO victory came against Nonito Donaire, whereas Davis's most spectacular KO came against Leo Santa Cruz. Inoue has vicious body punching, whereas Davis has vicious uppercuts. Both have extremely high ring IQs and very educated footwork. Davis has slightly better head movement, Inoue has a fantastic jab, Davis has fantastic defense. They're both pretty much the same height and have the same reach. Inoue is a four-weight division world champion, Davis is a three-weight division world champion. Inoue is a former undisputed world champion. Both have faced a high level of opposition. Davis is currently 135 pounds, in OA 122. Both are highly regarded in their respective weight classes. Both have very good chins. Of course we know how skilled both these boxers are, but what's got the boxing world crazy over fantasizing about this bout is actually the fact that both Davis and Inoue are massive power punchers. If we're to ask ourselves who are the three hardest hitting boxers today, pound for pound, who would we say? Across all divisions from minimum weight to heavyweight, who are the boxers with the biggest dig? You could make a very good case for Deontay Wilder, Gervonta Davis, and Naoya Inoue. Those three aren't just big punchers, they're knockout artists. When you watch these guys box, you're waiting for that one punch to connect to end the fight. If we were to see a matchup between Davis and Inoue, it would pit two of the top three punchers in the sport a go bad. So, how might the fight play out? The fight would likely be tentative. Sure, they're big punchers and they'll want to knock each other out, but they'll also want to avoid getting knocked out themselves, knowing the danger one another poses in the ring. So that comes down to another question. Sure, they have a big punch, but what's their skills looking like? Well, I'd say both boxers are A1 students of the game. Clearly, they've demonstrated their power, but how they go about their power is equally impressive. They're cold, calculated killers. They're both very skilled. They can box going back and box going forward. They have excellent jabs and defense. It would be a real tactical battle of wits and strategy. They're also both middle distance boxers, so a firefight is certainly on the table as a possibility, especially if one's ego won't leave a hard punch go unanswered. Davis would be the heavier man. How much bigger depends on when the fight happens and how much Inoue has developed up to then, but size may play a factor if the fight gets overly physical. 
However, Davis is not a physical boxer. He's slick and likes to box mid to long range using his skills, so he may not find himself using his physical size advantage too much. Of course, the advantage from his weight will be in the power of his punch, which is likely to be harder than his opponents. Both boxers have knocked guys out at multiple weight divisions. They both seem to hit harder the heavier they go. That's how you know someone has natural power. If they hit harder, the heavier they get. Inoue seems to be a massive puncher for 122, so it would be fair to say if he continues to climb weight divisions, he'll likely still carry a lot of that power up too. Of course, the biggest topic around this fight is the weight, but let's not forget that boxing is one of the craziest sports in the world. Crazy things happen. Let's remember when Manny Pacquiao was fighting at 135 pounds and he moved up two weight divisions to face Oscar De La Hoya. Today's equivalent of that would be Davis moving up to fight Jerron Ennis. Crazy things happen. Everyone said it was a mismatch, that Pacquiao was going to get hurt, that the fight shouldn't be allowed to happen for the safety of the Filipino. Yeah, it was a mismatch, but certainly not in the way people expected. Pacquiao broke down, destroyed, and dismantled Oscar De La Hoya, sending him into retirement. Well, that's what boxing can do. It can shock and amaze you. So, is it really so far-fetched to say that Inoue could fight Tank Davis? He's got the power and he's got the skills to deal with any threat, no matter how much they weigh. How could this fight happen? We're not talking about Inoue and Tank fighting this year. We're talking about the future, down the road when Inoue is developed more, where the difference wouldn't seem so drastic anymore. Perhaps give Inoue time to become a two-weight undisputed world champion, leave him to continue to climb the weight divisions as he works his way up, you could bring Tank down to 130. There's a lot of ways this fight can happen, and if both boxers want it to happen, it will happen. There's about a hundred million reasons for this fight to happen. A reason for every dollar. A hundred million dollars. One of them might get knocked out, but they'll be laughing to the bank the following morning. If it makes money sense, it makes perfect sense. Steven Espinoza of Showtime Sports revealed he's opened avenues for a potential mega fight with Inoue. Inoue's promoter has in the past revealed that they have plans to fight Gervonta Davis in the States if he continues to move up in weight. Davis himself has entertained the idea of this fight happening, so it's definitely not as crazy as you might think, and it's most likely not the mismatch that some people think it is. Elite fighters can break the rules. Weight is just one element in a multitude of equations when it comes to boxing. We're not talking about a 122 pounder diving straight into a fight with a 135 pounder tomorrow morning, but allow time for Inoue to build into these weight divisions. Allow him another two, three, or even maybe four years to climb higher and fill out. And all of a sudden, the fight doesn't seem so crazy anymore. The fact that people are talking about a fight between two boxers many weight divisions apart tells you how good both of them are, how much of a grip they must have on boxing fans around the world, how impressive they've been in the ring. It certainly tells a story. What do you think? How do you see a fight between Gervonta Davis and Naoya Inoue playing out? Let us know in the comments section below.